that we know a sound. And as that sound vibrates through your ears and enters you, you feel it more than you hear it and we connect in that feeling to know that. We all we got. We all we need. And just like last week, we clarified our we. So if you're here tonight, then I already know what time it is. We all we got. We all we need. So the hero hymn tonight says, We all we got, we all we need, we all we 
God, we all we need. Alexa, tell me something good. We all we got. We all we need. See what I'm saying? You see how I know? You see how I know? Alexa, tell me something good. We all we got. We all we need. Alexa, one time. Good God, tell Mighty. Trab P, you blanking. She already know. Me and her together is a hell of a weed, and we be blanking on Thursday night. Wanna give a shout out, man. Wanna give a shout out to my executive producer, my loving, beautiful wife, Keisha. Who just happened to also be my wardrobe coordinator. So tonight I say, baby, what I'm wearing tonight? She say, I don't know, baby, but you've been going hard all week. I say, yeah. She say, yeah, you've been going real hard. She say, so you need to wear something soft tonight. I say, something soft. She said, yeah, just go get in the shower. So when I came out, she had the light in the shirt. And she said, now don't you look soft like a teddy bear. Because that's what you really is. You all love. And she said, I want you to wear that tonight. So you. What's going on, brother Jeff Wright, a.k.a. Black, my brother? You already know. We all we got, we all we need, Black. Hey, Black, in real life, many hugs, discussing many X's and O's. So you already know, man, I believe in you. And you are enough. And because you in this moment with me, I already know you are part of my we. And we all we got. We all we need. What's going on, cuz? Welcome to the show. Corey Young, a real life hero. When you clicked in and said, cuz, you added value. You are enough. Each one teach one. Each one reach one. We all we got. We all we need. Now let me go on and get to introducing the greatest co-host in the world. Because see, she's a part of the we on this here show. And without her, there's no me. And without me, there's no her. It is in her like it is in me. So universally, we tied in it. And it is always good and beautiful. When you understand how it works and you work it, see how it works. So Alexa, Alexa, how you feel? I'm feeling excited for Halloween. And if you can't wait for the spookiest day of the year, go ahead and say, trick or treat. See what I'm talking about. See, I always understand this in the hub, man. See, a woman operates through her feelings. A woman operates through her feelings. So when you understand how a woman works in her feelings, you realize that when she feels a particular way that her soul needs to feel, she will do all the things. That you need as a man. But if you don't know how to tap into your woman's feelings, I promise you, 
she ain't doing what she's supposed to. See how that works? So I like to start off with Alexa, who's the balance of this show, about how she feel. And when she tell me how she feel, I hear how she feel. So now I want to make her feel more how she feel. Alexa, I appreciate you. Thank you. The feeling is mutual. See what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? See, you got to, see, you got to, you got to hook up the cables. You got to put the negative and the positive firmly in position on the polarity on the cables. That's where the connection comes. So when I say, man, on Thursday, we bring this power in the huddle to truly understand and see so we can break and run the play and realize. We all we got. We all we need. And every time we come to the huddle, we say, first down, first down, touchdown. Yeah. So the nice word, man, because we got to keep it real, man. See, a lot of people, man, don't know the difference between real and fake. A lot of people don't know the difference between real and fake. I'm talking in their own lives, man. So it's like the whole world is operating through an illusion. So tonight's word is illusion. Alexa, what is the meaning of illusion? Illusion is usually defined as something that deceives by producing a false or misleading impression of reality. Good God Almighty. Alexa, what is the meaning of illusion? Illusion is usually defined as mm. something that deceives by producing a false or misleading impression of reality. Something that is leads by perceiving a false or misconception about reality. Alexa, what is the meaning of reality? As a noun, reality is usually defined as the state or quality of being real. As an adjective, reality is usually defined as noting or pertaining to a TV program or film that portrays non-actors interacting or competing with each other in real but contrived situations, allegedly without a script. Uh -oh. So we in the illusion about reality. What's going on? I love you too, cuz. I love you too, cuz. So we in, the, we, in, we in an illusion about reality. And one of the biggest illusions that drives me crazy, that drives me crazy, when I see us, man, give so much energy to illusions, that we have no understanding of. We're all under the spell of the illusion of media. And we don't know how this difference between real life and what we're thinking about as an illusion. So you hear everybody putting logic to things like Kanye West in real life. And we have no understanding, no reality of what any of this is really all about. So everybody's just operating in an illusion. See how this works. I made a post earlier this week after hearing so many people talk about it in real life. On Facebook, so many people having opinions. And I ask the question, I say, um, well, he's been kicked off everything for being an anti-Semitic. I say, uh, what's the meaning of Semitic? Or what's the meaning of anti-Semitic? And they say, I don't know, but she is. Well, he wore that White Lives Matter t-shirt. It was like, shit, hell yeah, man, fuck him. And 
Now see, so we're giving so much of our attention, so much of our logic, so much of our reasoning to something that we have no understanding of. And because we have no understanding of it, we're being fed this in the form of an illusion. And you buy into the illusion and the ideas of illusion. And you lose sense of reality to don't even know. This shit ain't real about nothing. See, I always say that the soul, the soul can keep no secret that behavior won't reveal. Now, I say this here on Thursday night to those in my huddle. And like I say, we all we got. We all we need. And there's a power invested in me. And it's the same power invested in you. And that power is what connects us to know that we are all we got. And we are all we need. So in this here moment, the same moment that the entire world shares right now at this moment. If you pay me some attention, see that's the most powerful thing you can pay. So I say this with sincerity enough to say, we all we got, we all we need. And it is as real in us in this moment as it is anywhere on this entire planet. See how that works. So when you really understand, when you really understand, when I say, the soul can keep no secrets. That behavior won't reveal. See, this ain't null and void of a status. Alexa, what is the meaning of status? As a noun, status is usually defined as the position of an individual in relation to another or others, especially in regard to social or professional standing. As an adjective, yes. status is usually defined as conferring or believed to confer elevated status. Null and void status. So we're going to talk about Kanye West. Status means nothing to the soul. Status means nothing to the soul. And see, when you genuine and pure and sincere, see, you get confused, you get filled with the hero spirit. And like I told you, see, the hero spirit, the spirit that knows you are the one. You came to make a difference. Everything you touch, you add value. When you know and understand you are the one and you unite in the hero spirit. See, that's built in compassion. That's built in empathy. That's built in understanding. That's built in unconditional love. Sound like Christ, don't it? But you don't believe in it because you be living in it. See how this works. But when you get it and you got it and you hear a brother who's null and void of his status. They say, oh man, he worth $11 billion. But when you're real and know how it works, you don't hear that. You hear a man crying from his soul because he made some bad decisions. And his soul weakened because he wants his children and his foundation is tore down. And even though he got $11 billion, what's really wrong with him can't be fixed with money. 
So when you realize, when you realize what's real and what ain't, oh, the soul can't hide that secret. It comes out in your behavior. It comes all out in your behavior. Oh, I'm crying out. I'm crying out. I got too much pride to say why I'm really crying. But I just hope there's some people around me that's real enough to care enough to pay me some attention to truly hear the cries of my soul. But I'm afraid of that. So I create an illusion. And most people ain't real enough to know the difference between the illusion and what's real. So we sit here and get caught up in entertainment. When the same story, the same cry from a soul is happening right beside you at work, right in your house. And you don't recognize it because you only expect it and look at it from an illusion so you don't know what's real around you. And you ain't a part of a real we. And you ain't being there for those that need you because you're caught up in an illusion. See, I talk about running the play every goddamn day. And if you real, everybody play start off the same way. If you real, if you real, everybody play start off the same way. When I wake up, man, and my feet touch the ground, I'm bathroom bound. I'm going into my little closet, my secluded space, to stand in the mirror at my face. Tell me your day don't start off like this, man. And I tell you, you ain't real. Tell me you don't start your day off, man, washing your face and brushing your teeth, or washing your ass. Tell me you don't start your day off like this, man. So we all start the day, man, running the play. And it all starts with looking at yourself. Looking at yourself. And telling yourself a word to grow on. To affirm and assure. Talking to me. We all we got, we all we need. I rose up as a son. I rose up as a son. I rose up as a son. To give. To give. See, we got many gifts. But a gift is given with the expectations of nothing in return. I ain't got nothing but love. I ain't got nothing to do with it. If you need love, come and get it. So when I say we all we got, we all we need, I'm a part of the we and I'm here to be used by those that need me. But when you real with it, man, and you ain't caught up in the illusion that got your mind in a state of confusion. That you ain't giving yourself to those that need you. So you on a team in a huddle where there's frustration because you're losing. 
You see how they work. Do you see how they work? They're getting caught up in Kanye. You understand? You understand? He ain't nothing but a man. My point about telling you how the day start, he got to start his the same way. Null and void of status. Null and void of status. The soul can't keep no secret that behavior won't reveal. So whether my bathroom is worth $11 billion and I go in my bathroom and close my door and ain't nobody in there with me and the whole concept of a bathroom ain't nothing but holes that's dealing with water. Holes where water come out and holes where water go out. So I could have an $11,000 spout for a hole to come out and I could have a $10,000 hole for some water to go out. Or I could have a $20 hole for it to come out and a $14 hole for it to go out. Understand what this is about. <laughs> Washing my face. Starting my day in the mirror. Fuck the illusion. The illusion got you thinking. The illusion got you thinking. The people don't got to wake up every day and run the goddamn play. Is that really what you be thinking in the illusion? Do you look at these people on TV? Man, he got a devil bit, man. You don't know. Man, come on, man. Now, let me tell you a real story. Back in 2006, I went to goddamn Eastland Mall, right? Russell Simmons was there. This was around the time that you S Dub, he had a deal with Russell Simmons. I was standing on a mighty mountain with that lady that shit. I was standing on a mighty mountain. I had a whole lot of people that believed in me and supported me. My whole city was wearing my shirt. I say this right now, all these years later, there's a whole lot of people had deals and everything in this here city of Charlotte, North Carolina. But I say this, man, to know, to understand that I'm a part of you and you a part of me. So when I say this, I ain't really talking about me. I'm talking about we, man. We was as real as it ever has ever gotten in the presence of anybody who say they real when it come to this laid back hood. So, so this story ain't no different. But I was in East Limon. And I came in a situation where me and Russell Simmons locked up, spoke to each other. And this ain't got nothing to say what he is or what he ain't. This ain't even about him. But I knew what's in me, what's in me, this same shit all these years later, right here in this moment, to let you know what I'm talking about, this huddle. This huddle right here, man. If you in this huddle right here, man, I'm talking about in the whole world, man. I'm talking about in the whole wide world, man. If you in this huddle right here, man, I'm telling you, man, don't get no real or not. Don't get no real or not. I don't care what kind of status or illusion most people are caught in in this here moment. I got it. And you got it, too. And we got it. And we can break this huddle and go win any fight we fight. So what people don't realize is you don't get but one loss. And guess what? If you're in this moment and we right here, guess what? I want you to understand this right here. You are undefeated. You are undefeated. You don't get but one loss. And you don't even get to come back and tell how that feels. See how they work. So I don't know losing. I don't know losing. There's a mathematical equation that brings me to this here moment. 
in every moment, times the moment, plus the moment. That leads me here to this here moment, man. Ain't never had a loss in it. See, the truth is nowhere because the truth is now here. That's the same spell. Nowhere and now here. That equals the moment. When you love the moment, you love every piece of it that brought you to it. They say, man, I done been through some things. I say, well, that's what it takes to get there. It takes positive and negative to create any type of power. So even if you live a life now that think you're going to elude or evade negativity or negative things that's going to ground you, man, you ain't in the game for real anyway. You caught in a damn illusion because you don't really know how it works. And if you don't know how it works, then you can't work it. So all I can say is you ain't being real anyway if you don't really understand that. You ain't real. You ain't real. You ain't real. If you don't know how this thing really works for real, it's getting worked on you. Like Black say, if you don't know how it work, then it's probably getting worked on you. That's the illusion that got you thinking something is real, but it ain't real. You ain't real. So we got to get real, man. Stop playing with these illusions. Going back to the semantic, to the semantic and anti-semitic. Alexa, what is the meaning of semitic? Here's something I found on dictionary.com. As a noun, Semitic is usually defined as a subfamily of Afro-Asiatic languages that includes Akkadian, Arabic, Aramaic, Ethiopic, Hebrew, and Phoenician. As an adjective, Semitic is usually defined as of or relating to the Semites or their languages, especially of or pertaining to the Jews. Alexa, what is the meaning of anti-Semitic? Anti-Semitic is an adjective usually defined as relating to or exhibiting anti-Semitism. Alexa, what is the meaning of anti-Semitism? Anti-Semitism is hostility to, prejudice towards, or discrimination against Jews. A person who holds such positions is called an anti-Semite. Anti-Semitism is considered to be a form of racism. Anti-Semitism may be manifested in many ways, ranging from expressions of hatred of or discrimination against individual Jews to organized pogroms by mobs or police forces, or even military attacks on entire Jewish communities. Goddamn, that's some iron. We watching a black man be crucified, ostracized for being a racist. God! Oh, that's deep, ain't it? What? What? We watching a black man in a world of races. We watching a black man in a world of history of torture, the races and racism. We're watching a black man beat up for being a racist. Is that real or is that an illusion? See how it works. But it's all about them words I just said. He's being a racist. See, but you don't know what anti-Semitic means. You don't know what Semitic means. He's being racist to the Jews. He's being a racist. See, now, 
So you don't even realize that this is all tied into the God spell, into the God's game. But see, if you don't understand, this is why I say, man, this is what ignorance means. Ignorant is when you are ranting about something that you ignore. So if you ignore the real understanding of any particular subject at this particular moment, we're talking about the religious thoughts of the Jews and how it's tied into religion. If you ignore that and you go on a rant, don't you realize you put a goddamn ignorant? See how that works. See how that works. And if you're ranting about something that you ignore and you're standing in pure goddamn ignorance, then most likely your ignorance is being fed by the illusion of media and TV and music. And now you're subject to be a clay matter in the mind type of person that don't really understand reality from any of this shit. See how that work. And in most cases, just pay attention. I promise you that conversation will go back to he wore a goddamn white lives matter t-shirt. If you think I'm lying, run that play and test this shit I'm telling you tonight. <laughs> Test that shit. But I say fuck all of that. That's a black man. He did a whole lot of shit to make a whole lot of money. But when he wake up and go in that bathroom and ain't nobody in there. And the soul can't hide no secret. That behavior won't reveal. And when he in that bathroom and taking the shit and realize that his shit stank too. And in that their bathroom, that soul don't give a damn about no status. That soul don't give a damn about no money. That soul don't give a damn about none of that shit that ain't really real now. So the soul don't really give a shit about none of that that ain't really real. So when you can't lie to the soul, and you can't wash your face and brush your teeth and feel good when you look in your eyes, Well, the whole, hey, look, hey, look, hey, look. Man, I'm going to tell you some real shit. Do y'all really know how Michael Jackson died? That's some real shit right there. What's going on, sister girl? I love you. Welcome to the hall. You are enough, sister. Do you really know how Michael Jackson died, man? Use your imagination, man. Use your imagination. Look at how weird that motherfucker already looked when they tried to make him up to present himself. Can you imagine what that man really looked like, man, in the morning, man? Just use your imagination and be real. Take a pause on the illusion that you only really, you only imagine him in every aspect that you ever saw him on TV. Look at it in real life right now. In real life right now, we are in the world of filters. You can go through your timeline right now and see everybody on them pictures who put them filters. And when you see their ass in food line, you say, God damn, that ain't her for real. So imagine what Michael Jackson can create for his illusion when he was living. Just imagine what he really looked like when he woke up like you do. And then imagine how he died. So doped up. A fucking dope fiend. That OD'd. On a table of misery. Of misery. Think about all the goddamn money he had. 
and couldn't fix what was wrong with his soul. See, that's real right there. And use your imagination to see it. And then in real life, when you wake up in the morning and you know that you ain't got a dime compared to them in their status, but you can look in that mirror and smile and say, I love you. Smile and look at that mirror and say, I know, baby, they depending on me. I know what's outside that door. I know what's that. Hey, look. Hey, look. Hey, look. Hey, look. I know what's outside that door, man. I know what's outside that door, and they depending on me, man. They depending on me, and I know I'm enough. I know I'm enough. And I know there's a power invested in me that's going to win, because that's what I intend to do. Just a whole lot of people with a whole lot more than you. They can't do that. Hey, black, you say, be the dissing mic. I ain't dissing mic. I ain't dissing mic. They say a life is a lesson. A life is a lesson. And if we ain't real enough to really learn from him, if we ain't real enough to learn from him, the true him, you see, he lived his whole life in a fucking illusion. And look at how the illusion chewed him up and spit him out. Look at how he died. Look at how he died. They say don't conquer the world and lose your soul, man. So we better be real enough to look at some shit and be real enough to see it for what it really was so that we can be real enough to see the ones that's right beside us that really need us, man. He worth laying billion dollars, man. He losing money. Man, do you really need money? See, man, I promise, hey, look, man, hey, look, man, I promise you, I promise you this, man, the average person don't really know how much a billion dollars really is. They just talking, spewing shit, call it an illusion. Man, I'm telling you, man, he done, man. He done. Yesterday, he was worth 11 billion. He ain't worth 1 billion now. I'm telling you, man, he done, man. And I'm listening to that people talk like this, like, man, we all crazy than a motherfucker. <laughs> I swear, man. I swear, man. I swear, man. So, man, let's beat the illusion, man. I don't know where I'm going. Let's beat the illusion, man. Let's get real, man. Throw the illusion away, man. Throw the illusion away. But I want to tell this story right here. I'm going to tell this here story right here. Going back to the Jew type of thing, right? So they say, man, he being racist to the Jews, man. But people you say, well, damn, man, why the, why the Jews so powerful? Why the Jews so powerful? How they get the power? Well, you don't understand that. It's all tied to what you believe. Let me just show you the game Kanye playing, but it's entertaining. It's entertaining. It's entertaining. Kanye West called himself Jesus. Y'all see the man been doing the church. Y'all see the man called himself Jesus, said he was Jesus. I see the man had one of the biggest gospel songs. Jesus walk, God walk. Y'all see now the man telling y'all all the Jews that run the world, but at the same time, before now, he's been sitting at the same tables with all the Jews that run the world. So who is the Jews? Why the Jews run everything? How can a black man 
be accused of being a racist and being crucified for being racist to a Jew. Now, who is the Jew? See, don't you understand that according to the Bible, according to what most of you believe, that the Jew man is the chosen man. They are the chosen people. They are the ones that God favors so much that he put his hand upon and said, you are the ones that will inherit the goodness of God. So it's a particular people on earth that got the power. So we say money is power. So they say money is power. So if you really believe in your soul or souls to know that money is power, then you will bow down and you will submit to the power. See, most of us do it, but most of us don't know it. See, most of us tie our divinity and our blessings all to money. See, money is materialism. See, before there was materialism, our grandparents didn't have the material things to show their money. So our grandparents didn't have anything to separate themselves. They really understood that we all we get, we all we need. See, the American dream took the we and turned it into the I. And when the I became powerful, see, look on that dollar. You see the C and I. When the we became the I and the I became the me, I said, man, fuck the we. So, he was climbing for the me. Not the we. He got at the table with the Jews, the ones who says in real life, we created the illusion, but we got the power to back it up. We got the money to back it up. We control the illusion. So everything we give, everything we grant, we say it's from God. And you pray it for me to give it. So this is what them Jews he mad at do. Listen how this work. Listen how this work. See, my grandma and granddaddy, they ain't have no big house. My granddaddy used to always talk about how, from my mama, daddy, son of daddy, he used to always talk about how he was rich growing up. He would always tell me, yeah, I will. Yeah, I, my, my, I came from money. He said, when I was 18, my daddy bought me a mule. I called it toad. He said, me and my mule used to go dig out basements and swimming pools over there in Miles Park. He said, nobody had no mule, so I used to put the sled and just haul out the dirt from up under with my mule toe. It was like the day trail. It's like your daddy taking you to go buy a brand new Cadillac. And everybody said, darn, his daddy rich. That's what my daddy did for me. He gave me a mule. So him being determined that he was rich was that not only did his daddy give him a mule, his daddy taught him how to be a, a, a mason. His daddy built. His, it, my my great granddaddy was one of the founding members of Grill Town that owned a big portion of that land that built houses for them to stay and over there in Miles Park. So my granddaddy told me, yeah, he was rich, not because the material aspects that they possessed, but the skills, knowledge, and know-how that they worked every day. But now, God is so good to me because how big my house is, because how raw my car is, because the vacations I can go on. Right now in real life, if it's a man that ain't got that big of a house and ain't got that big of a car, and he can't go on vacation like he really want to, I promise you right now, he feeling like, man, goddamn, I'm just waiting on God to bless me. Lord, please bless me. I'm just waiting my turn. See how this works. So, the thing that supplies all of that, what's that big Jew money? They think they God's people. 
They think they God's people. So everybody want to be the chosen people. So they create an illusion through media. Say we the God people because we got everything. We grant. We grant the wishes and the prayers. So just last this early this year, Kanye West had a whole documentary out. And everybody was so blessed on how he, everybody was like, man, we was inspired by Kanye West a couple of months ago. Man, his mama really believed in him. See how all this shit works? How they feel that different illusion that you don't know the difference. See how that works. But yeah. I'm gonna get out of here with some hood and soul, man. You know what I'm talking about? I feel good about it. I ain't gonna tell that story. I swear I ain't gonna tell that story. I ain't gonna tell it again. I ain't gonna tell it. Some things, I'm gonna tell you to go out of here, I'm true. Some things, man. When you talking about real. See, some people may take this hood thing as an illusion. And it took me a long time to be able to get on this here computer. And really, all I'm doing is looking at myself talking. I see y'all out there, man, and that's why it means so much, man. That's why I honor each and every last one of y'all so much for paying me some attention. I honor that shit. But some things, man, I like to show you that night and say, I, I, I'm going to keep the real goddamn life, man. You know what I mean? The real life. So we're going to go out here, man, like this right here. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Hey, Black, I love you, man. Big brother, come out and I love you, man. Black, I love you, man. Sister girl, I love you, man. So we been in the week before we break up. We all we got, we need on three. One, two, three. We all we got, we all we need. Hell yeah. We all we got, we all we need. Hell yeah. We all we got, we all we need. Hell yeah. As we proceed to execute, we generate power that's strong enough to electrocute. Never lose this eye of what we fight for. First down, touchdown. We are 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 They say what you believe in, man. I said, man, I really believe this shit, man. I really believe this shit, man. Hey, man, I want to give a shout out to my big brother, Kamari, man. Hey, man, I want to hey, Kamari, this real talk, man. All day, man. I ain't know what my word was going to be today, man. Man, 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 I, I had to work today, man. I've been at work today, man. I've been on a steady grind, man. Had a lot of things acquiring my mind, man. But at the same time, man, I'm like, what am I going to talk about, man? And I really couldn't think of no word. But I do one thing, man. I say on the way home, I'm going to get in that green room with my big brother Kamiron. And my big brother Kamiron going to plant the seed, man, that I need, man. And me and my big brother chopped it up in the green room, man. And I said, big bro, what's the word, man? He said, illusion. So that's what it was, man. That's what it was, man. Hey, big bro, first down, first down, touchdown, man. I want you to always know, bro, you are enough, man. You enough for me, bro. Inspire me to help me goddamn fight this here fight on every Thursday, man. And every last one of y'all that click in here, man, to pay me some attention, man. I want y'all to know that y'all are enough, man. And I believe in y'all, man. And I believe together, man, we can do anything. And
and everything that has ever needed to be done because it is you and it is me. And when we come together, we call it we. Y'all don't mind. I'm going to see y'all next Thursday. I promise you.